this has got to be one of our nation's most recognisable cars. The rest of the country would love to lay claim to it, but sorry, Australia, Daniel Ricciardo's Formula One lives right here in WA. Whiteman Park, 30 minutes drive from the heart of Perth, is one of the most unexpected tourism experiences in our state. Ten times bigger than Kings Park, they've just won the state's major tourist attraction category for the second year in a row. And it's the home of a very special slice of Western Australian history. The park is where our state's transport buffs, enthusiasts and restorers like to play. And we get to enjoy their handiwork. Let's take a little road trip down memory lane. Or rail trip. Recognise this station? It used to be at East Perth and now it's the station at number one platform here at Whiteman Village Junction. And for the volleys who restore and run the trains, it's a real labour of love. So what sort of people will volunteer to work on the trains? All sorts of people. And they're all here because they love trains. What about you? For me, it's a childhood ambition. Uh, my father worked in the railways and I used to watch the trains go past my house and used to dream about being a driver. Well, now I am one. Whiteman Park is also the only place you can travel by vintage tram in WA. A trip on Tram 66 is pretty special. So Shane, how old is Tram number 66? So Chrissy, she's uh, 101 years old. A bit uh, older than you? Yes, <laughs> quite a bit older than me. Uh, she's most famous for the last run to Inglewood um, from Barrack Street Jetty uh, back on the 19th of July, 1958, which was the last time a tram ran in Western Australia. Thanks, Shane. Our tram driver Shane is one of 600 volunteers who really make Whiteman Park tick. And one thing I didn't know, and you may not be aware of either, is just how many transport enthusiasts we have here in WA. Along with the trains and the trams, we also have a bus preservation society. And this is one of their 82 prides and joy, the Metro 81. And you can hop on board for free when she does her tours of the park every Monday. This bus, when it was new, was the state of the art busy in 1949. So why are you preserving buses? The vision for our organisation is to keep alive the past so that this generation and future generations will know what buses looked like, sounded like, smelt like. I don't it... know what they sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> this place even has a tractor museum. If it's ever worked the land in WA, you'll find fantastic examples right here, including the first Chamberlain champion ever built here in WA. This old girl has been around Australia three times. And talking museums, you're probably getting an idea of just how much there is to see and do out here at Whiteman Park. There are actually three museums, including this one, Revolutions, which looks at the impact transport methods have had and are continuing to have on our state. I can imagine what impact this would have had on someone's posterior if they'd used it to travel from Perth to Kalgoorlie a hundred years ago. And last but not least, a display that leaves many visitors all revved up. The WA Motor Museum is also located at Whiteman Park. If you love cars, you will happily spend a fair bit of time here. Now, if you move like Daniel Ricciardo, you could possibly do all these in a day. However, speaking from experience, there is enough here to keep you coming back time and time again. Some of the displays are free and others have a pretty modest charge. If you check out our website, you'll find out all the details. Imagine how fast I'd be home if I could drive this. 